in the four we had questions. three people that have commented on this. the live stream. Uh, if this is Amy. I thought the aim was to get views, not turn people away. Uh, the next you know, comment, hey, women, be better than this because the worst fans really are the women. They they don't they don't get critical journalism. They're, they're just they all they all want to be cheerleaders. Okay. The man in the middle degrading female sports fans is this guy. Jerry Sullivan of the Niagara Gazette. You know what I mean? It's always, I don't know. I yeah. know it's a dangerous avenue to go down to criticize women in general because they're better than men generally. But Agreed. As, as now, now we need to frame what you just fans, said. They generally, they get it as fans. That's the is a takeaway of this whole iteration. Generally, women are better than men. That's just a fact. Yeah. I think we all stand by. Uh, I believe that. Next, David Silver. His fellow hosts can try all they like, however, the damage was clearly done. Sullivan, a sports media veteran who had gigs with WIVB TV Channel 4, the Niagara Gazette, and the Lockboard Sun and Journal, is feeling the weight of his own comments. However, there was a recent viral and hilarious moment between Jerry Sullivan and Buffalo Bills quarterback Josh Allen. It doesn't look like an offense that's going to do nothing with the Super Bowl right now. Okay. Okay. Josh, on now, on. As for his commentary on the podcast, Sullivan was fired by WIVB TV Channel 4, The Gazette, and the Lockport Union Sun and Journal after he made sexist comments on the live stream podcast. The Niagara Gazette statement in part read of Sullivan's ouster, we do so unapologetically and with real disappointment in a veteran sports journalist who we once regarded as a catch for our readers. Sullivan would later write on Twitter, I'd like to apologize for comments I made on a podcast last night that were uncalled for and insulting to women. I should be better than that. To be clear, when a female listener named Amy wrote to the show, I thought the goal was to gain views, not to turn people away. Sullivan let loose on female sports fans. Women be better than this, Sullivan said, because the worst fans really are the women. They don't get critical journalism. They all want to be cheerleaders. You know what I mean? Sullivan added. It's always, I don't want to... It's a, it's a dangerous avenue to go down to criticize women in general because they're better than men generally, but they don't get it as fans. No, Jerry, it's not okay, wrote the Gazette statement in retort to Sullivan. What it is, is a revelation of the disrespect that a man in an exceedingly rare and powerful position, longtime regional sports journalist whose words are carried in print on television and multiple social media platforms, is harboring for roughly half of this newspaper's readers the disrespect he harbors for every female athlete, female coach, female journalist, every woman, period. To our readers, who viewed that obnoxious clip and wondered whether we'd overlook it in defense of tolerance or free speech, you need not worry. This newspaper has no desire to do business with or be a forum for anyone who's nursing such false and misogynist notions. He also had some very odd tweets about women, the Super Bowl, and simply singing, over sing was a word he used in four tweets from 2015 to 2017. He then brought up women and over singing more in dug up tweets. Can't wrap my head around his criticisms of quality singing, but here we are. Bill's mafia girl would write above the video. What was said by Jerry Sullivan is inexcusable, but please don't act like other fans of this fan base or others don't do the same. Many of us women face this daily, especially on this app, as in Twitter. Whether it's writing a goofy letter in good fun to be publicly shamed or making a minor mistake in an accuracy of a tweet or trying to make a statement or have an opinion, being body shamed, then people going on other forms of social media to further attack us. We deal with it constantly from men and even women. It's disgusting and never ends.